So what is going on over here? Oh, don't tell Molly I had that in my mouth. Um, <laughs> so I'm marking everything with highlighter that's going 50% off in my clearing out hoard sale that I'm doing so I can revamp my space. And then I'm writing down the number of the item. I'll go in the computer and adjust the price so they don't actually have to mark it down when they buy it. It'll already be done in the computer. Among revamping the shop space and putting everything on sale today, we are also restocking paints. The fun part of having a shop space, you know, all the, all the tedious work. The ins and outs, yeah, for sure. I always make sure though that when I am selling stuff in my shop, that even if I mark it off 50%, I'm still making a profit on it. Even if it's minuscule. Another important thing is to make a sign so everybody knows that we're having a sale in here. I made two signs and I'm gonna tape them onto the windows so people can see them, although I'm a little short. Oh, joyous computer work. Well, you, I mark everything down with a highlighter, but then I go ahead and go on the computer and change everything. That way, if for some reason somebody brings in their own pink highlighter, if it's not changed in the computer, it's not on sale. So we know that. What? No one would do that. What? Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> think so, and I wouldn't think so either. But it just also makes it easier for when they're checking out. They don't have to mark down each individual item. It's already in the computer. So it just takes me a couple minutes and everything's all organized. Looks like a good home for you. All right, this is just a quick pan of the shop to kind of show you guys what it looks like now. Hopefully some of these pieces that have been here a while will sell down because we've marked them down 50%. And then what we'll do is we've got lots of stuff back at the house that we can use to fill them up. And this hutch is still here. I think Jamie put it at 50% too. So we'll see if it goes. A lot of stuff sold after we marked everything down. So today Zeb and I are knocking out projects. I started these chairs about a week ago. I painted one pink and now I'm painting one. This is mint chip mixed with white swan. I've got one already painted in cake batter and I haven't decided on the fourth color. It'll probably be somewhere in the blue family. We're probably going to be doing some dark wax on these to kind of make like age them up and make them look grungy. I might even number the back of them. I'm kind of going for like this French country whimsy new age look farmhouse I don't know I've got it in my mind so you might see me do some things that I haven't done before on my pieces just to kind of slowly bring that in and as things sell down I want to make sure that the pieces I'm putting in match my new style I'm using my synthetic brush from DIY paint I'm gonna be using a bunch of different brushes today because I have so many colors going on so I'm just gonna keep them in a bag so that way if I have to do that color again I'm not washing the brush in between every project. You can pick this up along with the paint which is mint chip mixed with white swan at jamierayvintage.com. So we didn't have quite enough skeleton key to do a chair so I'm just mixing in about uh, two parts skeleton key to one part white swan just to create a lighter gray. You're going to want to stir until the color is completely incorporated and scrape those edges so that way you don't have any of the original color left in your jar. You don't want to get to the end and have not the right color. The nice thing about skeleton key is it does have a hint of blue in it. It'll be the perfect blue gray to coordinate with my other chairs. When I'm doing something like this where I've got a set that's coming in like four different colors, I like to hand brush because I don't want to have to fill up the spray gun for an chair and I'm doing like lots of different colors today. So you're going to be seeing us brushing a lot and spraying just in the colors that we keep in our spray guns. 
On our live videos on Wednesdays, we call them Waste Not Wednesdays, we like to take found items or salvage that would have normally been thrown away and create something out of it. And we made this console table, but it turned out a little dark. We used a steel wool and vinegar stain on some Spanish cedar. It looks awesome and it turned this, I mean, you can see it got really dark gray, but we need to lighten that up a little bit to kind of go with our new theme and give it a little more character. It's kind of drab right now. So I'm painting this with DI White Swan. It's been watered down. It's about a 50% water to 50% paint mix. And when we sand this back, it'll still have the gray tones and the fun effects there, but we'll also get kind of a lime wash effect. I'm not gonna be super neat with it because I'm gonna be pulling a lot of this white back off with the sander. We just wanna soften up the dark gray tones a little bit. I've got a damp rag and I'll probably have to wet it a few times because this is a pretty large piece. The paint is not quite dry, it's still a little wet and that's okay because I'm gonna try to wipe some off. I was gonna hit it with a sander but then I got to thinking that'll probably pull down through my gray stain and I'm gonna get red again. And if I mix red with this white, um, it'll end up being pinkish so we're gonna avoid that and go with a wet distress. We picked this dresser up last week and we're gonna get the hardware off of it and get it ready for painting. Jamie's gonna brush this. I believe she's doing milk paint on it. I'm gonna take the other three wheels off. It's really wobbly and we'll see what I have for wheels to see if it has wheels when we're done or if we're just gonna leave them off. Originally, this dresser had a backer right here, maybe a mirror or something that went up over that. So I've got to create that real quick. It'll need to be stained dark too, which I will probably use layered chocolate to just paint it brown and seal that because that'll match this pretty close. That way when we go to distress it, it doesn't show like the light pine that I used. Jamie's wiping it down. It's been oiled a lot, so she's using a little bit of Dawn dish soap and water to clean this off a bit. I'm using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and galvanized. My uh, paint mixer broke and burnt up a few weeks ago, so I had to mix it with a fork. So it's a little bit chunky. So now that I'm getting to the bottom, I'm gonna have to add some water and mix that in together a little bit more. Got a couple of pieces done that need sealed. I'm using Sweet Pickens Top Coat in my Central Pneumatic Sprayer. The link for the sprayer is in the description below. And this will give it a nice matte finish. So I'm sealing this with DIY clear wax and then I'm gonna come and highlight with white wax and then I'll probably do clear wax one more time, wait a few hours, then we'll buff it into place. I like to use wax when it's chippy like this because if you were to put a liquid top coat on this, it would all chip off. So wax is the best option when it's super chippy. I'm using the clear wax first so that way I don't get too much white wax all over the piece. If you just go straight with the white wax, it's gonna be a much more dramatic white wax effect. So I'm coming back with clear 
just to smooth out all the areas where I added that white wax and make it look a little less splotchy. It'll pull some of the white wax off and blur all the lines. We were gonna use a dark oil wax on these to seal them. We like the way that they look so much distressed like this that we're just gonna go ahead and seal them with top coat. We finished a ton of projects this Memorial Day. We're gonna get this video edited and up so you can watch it. And then tomorrow or the next day, we'll get them loaded into the shop and we're gonna continue to do more chippy, layered, French country type finishes as we redesign the shop and come up with a new look. Can't forget about our farmhouse roots though. Lots of salvage. That's right, farmhouse, French country, chippy, pastel, some black accents. It's the whole thing. Go to jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we use today. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Button.